Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. If I could have your attention. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for coming this morning. As somebody said, at least we didn't have snow and sleet, which we've had before. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful morning here in Lake Forest, and I want to be the first to welcome you to our annual meeting for 2013. I'm Joanna Rolick, the Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce, otherwise known as the Chambermaid. So, this morning we have a wonderful array of uh, visitors from around the community and actually around the county, which we are very pleased to have our guests from outside of the, uh, the immediate area. Thank you for coming. 2012 was a very good year. I'm going to give you just a couple of comments, Cliff's Notes, though I don't know that there are Cliff's Notes anymore. So it was a very good year. We welcomed 70 new members to the Chamber of Commerce, which we interpreted as a validation of our mission and programs and that we are continuing to be of value to the business community. And here's a quick recap of some of the things that we did. We relaunched our national award-winning Shop Local First campaign where people showed us $500 worth of receipts for purchases in Lake Forest, Lake Bluff. We entered them into a contest and we had a winner of $1,000 in chamber gift certificates which then were spent in town. We had hundreds of entries. We are still kind of counting those. Um, the last time that we did it over three months we had 900 entries which represented over $450,000 worth of sales within our communities. We would like to continue to do this to just encourage the support of our communities. In collaboration with the downtown merchants groups, we continued to do a variety of events in both towns. We continued to expand our programming. We're up to over 40 events a year. Um, this is one of our favorites, and uh, we have several events a month that we invite you all, and I know many of you all participate in. There is a sheet on your table, that bright yellow sheet. On one side, it has a list of when our events take place. And on the other side, it has a list of our new board of directors. We encourage you to keep that. If you would like to get in touch with any of us on the chamber, you can get in touch with someone on the chamber board or contact our office if you have someone something to offer or if you would like to host one of our business after hours events. We also held another very successful holiday party. Thank you again to the Pasquese family. They're at the table right here. Thank you. The Pasquese family hosted. We had almost 300 people attend the event. Cindy Pasquese Thorson, who is right here, and Deb Fisher, right next to her, if you could raise your hands, were our two chairmen this year, and it was just an astounding job. So thank you both, and thank you to all of you for coming and supporting, and for donating auction items. We also continue to represent the interests of local businesses and advocate. We work hand in glove with the City of Lake Forest, Susan Kelsey at the front table, Bob Kiley, and with Drew Irvin. Kathy O'Hara is here also from the Village of Lake Bluff. We look forward to continuing that association and working with you. We also have continued our participation and collaboration with partners within the county. Uh, we have our guests this morning from the Lake County Visitors Bureau up in front. And in the back, we have our friends at Rosalind Franklin University, the College of Lake County. We also have worked with the Lake Forest Graduate School of Management, Lake County Partners, and the Illinois Small Business Development Center. And through this all, our staff, Susie, who you know very well, and Brooke and I, are at a new office at 272 East Deer Path. We went around the corner. Pasquazes is in our own site at the train station. And we're now on Deer Path. And we continue to serve as the visitor bureaus for both Lake Forest and Lake Bluff and take as many as 1,000 information requests a year. What's coming up in 2012, just quickly? We recognize that these continue to be challenging times and that every dollar counts, both yours and ours. So we are going to continue to do what, I'm sorry? 2013, did I say 12? Coming up in 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I know. It's, it's new, Carol. It's new. Um, we're particularly excited that we're going to be relaunching our North Shore Home, Health, and Business Expo. This is taking place the first weekend in March, and we thank both Lake Forest Bank and Trust and also Rosalind Franklin University and Health Services for being major sponsors of this event. We are so looking forward to it. As our world has become more virtual, our businesses were telling us that they really were looking for an opportunity for face-to-face -face contact with their potential clients and customers. And for that reason, we put together the event again um, 
we had had it on hiatus for seven years. It's time to do it again, so we're looking forward to it. Tomorrow morning, Joe Paulson, I know you're here, Joe. I see you back there. And Phil Gator, Joe is with Beacon Sign Solutions, and Phil is with Brandstorm. We'll be doing a seminar for registered exhibitors on how to best utilize this opportunity to promote to the public. And we will be heavily promoting it throughout the North Shore and into Lake County. So we hope you will join us if you haven't as yet. We're also looking forward to launching a new initiative, Friends and Neighbors, where residents of Lake Forest and Lake Bluff can participate with the Chamber of Commerce and help support the business community. And we're looking forward to that as well. So what I would like to do now is, first of all, thank all of the people that are here, thank all of the wonderful people that have been on our uh, board of Directors. We have several individuals here who have served on the board or been involved with the Chamber heavily. And I am now going to introduce um, our president. In my 16 years here, I've been blessed with a wonderfully talented and generous roster of chamber leaders, including past presidents Irene Ratliff, who's here, uh, Steve Madden, who is in the back, Peter Dubois is here. I know Peter is here. There you are, right in the middle. Uh, so you are here this morning. Now it is my great pleasure to have the opportunity to introduce the next standard bearer and president of the Chamber of Commerce, Deborah Haddad. Deborah is a founding partner of Haddad Law Firm, which is located in Lake Bluff, and she has been an active member of our Chamber Board since 2010. A member of the Board of Advisors to the Center for Real Estate Law of the John Marshall Law School, she has had more than 25 years of experience in the real estate industry, including serving as a partner in the Chicago office of Holland and & Knight, and as Senior Vice President of Lennar Corporation, and also as General Counsel of Concord Homes. Debbie has also had a distinguished career of service to the City of Lake Forest. She has served as the fourth Ward Alderman, Chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals, and as member of both the Plan Commission and the Lake Forest Housing Trust. We are very, very fortunate that she has become a member and now leader of our family. I would like to introduce Debbie Haddad. Joanna, thank you, and I welcome all of you this morning. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge some distinguished uh, guests that we have in the audience this morning. State Representative Scott Drury of the, of the 58th District, if you'll stand up. <laughs> Lake Bluff Village Trustee Catherine O'Hara. <laughs> and as Joanna mentioned previously, our past presidents of the chamber, Peter Dubois and Steve Madden. We would like to acknowledge the contribution of board members who retired at the end of 2012. Uh, those of you that I call, if you could please join me at the podium. Sue Boucher, owner of the Lake Forest Bookstore. Willard Bunn had to leave. He's formerly a Baytree Bank and now with Colonnade Advisors. Tom Lockowitz of Hospira. And Steve Madden of Lake Forest Bank and Trust. We thank all of you for your time, commitment, and generous support of the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I'd like to acknowledge our retiring president. Although she will be remaining on the board with us, we would like to acknowledge our appreciation of Irene Ratliff of Lake Forest College who has served as the chamber's president for the past two years. Irene, if you could please come forward. We would like to present you with a small token of appreciation for your excellent leadership, generosity with your time, and great friendship to the chamber. Thank, Thank you, you. Debbie. It is my great pleasure now to introduce you to the members of the 2013 Board of Directors of the Lake Forest Lake Bluff Chamber of Commerce. If you would stand when I call your names. Uh, our new Vice President, Deb Fisher of Koenig and Stray Realtors. Steve Ballen, CPA of Ballen and Associates. Our new Treasurer, Brad Anderson, Griffith Grant and Latke. Past President, Irene Ratliff of Lake Forest College, our Board of Directors, Scott Adams with Bank Financial, 
Malcolm Douglas with the Lake Forest Graduate School of Management, Matt Flynn, Senior VP and CFO of Northwestern Memorial Hospital, Casey Helander, owner of Helander Stationery, Drew Irvin, Village Administrator, Village of Lake Bluff, Bob Kiley, City Manager, City of Lake Forest, Larry Milebeck, Director of Facility Operations with Hospira, Steve Malota, Senior VP of Commercial Loans of Lake Forest Bank and Trust, Joe Paulson, Owner of Beacon Sign Solutions, David Schmidt, Dentist, Campbell Schmidt Family Dentistry, George Stone, President of Hill and Stone Insurance Agency, and Cindy Pasquese Thorson, owner of Pasquese Home and Gardens. We thank all of you for your commitment and look forward to working together with you for the 2013 year. Next, we would like to present the 2013 Community Leadership Award. Each year, the Chamber presents the award to a local business that has exemplified a commitment to the community participation and involvement. Past recipients have included Trustmark, Northern Trust, Helanders, Lake Forest Bank and Trust, Don's Finer Foods, Lake Forest Place, Lesser Lutry and McGlynn, Pasquese Home and Gardens, the Chicago Bears, the Lake Forest Graduate School of Business, and Sunset Foods. This year, we are proud to announce that Griffith Grant and Latke Realtors was unanimously endorsed by our Board of Directors for this honor as a generous and committed friend to both the Chamber of Commerce and the community as a whole. Griffith Grant and Latke Realtors was founded in 1903 by John Griffith a man who was instrumental in the early development of Lake Forest and Lake Bluff and many of our community's historic landmarks, including the Deer Path Inn and Market Square. Current owners, Scott Latke and Brad Anderson and their staff are continuing the tradition and legacy of the company by being involved both as a company and as individuals in many civic and charitable organizations in our towns. They truly exemplify the volunteer spirit that is such an integral part of the fabric of our communities. We at the Chamber are very grateful and proud of our continuing relationship with Griffith Grant and Latke. And we would like to extend our gratitude for the company's commitment and service to the Chamber and to the community at large. It is our great honor, I'm gonna ask Scott to come forward. you with the 2013 Community Leadership Award. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much. Now, Just if you'd like to make a few comments, sure. absolutely. Good morning, all. Thank you very much, Debbie. On behalf of the staff of Griffith Grand Lackey, my partner Brad and I want to thank the Chamber Board and its members for this wonderful recognition. We value our partnership with the Chamber and have been proud members since the very beginning. I think everyone in this room knows that successful local businesses are a benefit to everyone who lives in the communities. A vibrant, <coughs> engaged business community is an important component of a town's success. But the most important component of a town's success is its people. Communities thrive when there's active, involved, <clears throat> volunteer participation in the local civic and charitable organizations that define us all. <clears throat> there are many opportunities to be involved. You can serve in your local government, volunteer time at your school, your church, the hospital, or just being an active participant in the many fine charitable and service organizations that contribute so much to the fabric of our communities. Brad and I are very proud of our staff's involvement in many of these organizations. We encourage participation and look for people who want to be a part of something more than just an office. We've all benefited from the good fortune of working here and we're happy to give back any way we can. As mentioned, our company will celebrate its 110th anniversary this year 
We've been actively involved in the community since its, our inception and look forward to doing so for many years to come. Thank you very much.